Today we are going to discuss some multiple choice questions from chapter acids, base and salts. So we'll go to the questions now. Question number one. Which one of the following will turn red litmus to blue? I will repeat the question. Which one of the following will turn red litmus to blue? My options are option A, vinegar. Option B, baking soda solution. Option C, lemon juice. And option D, soft drinks. And the answer is option B, baking soda solution. And the reason is, red litmus turns blue in basic solution. And among this option, only baking soda solution is basic in nature. The rest all are acidic in nature, including soft drinks, which contains carbonic acid. So now we will go to question number two. Which of the following does not form an acidic salt? I'll repeat the question. Which one of the following does not form an acidic salt? Option A, phosphoric acid. Option B, carbonic acid. Option C, hydrochloric acid. And option D, sulfuric acid. Answer is option B, carbonic acid. Because it's a weak acid. And to form a acidic salt strong as it is required so students will go to the third question here it is some fruits like mango lemon raw grapes etc have a sour taste due to the presence of repeat the questions some fruits like mango lemon raw grapes etc have so taste due to the presence of option a acetic acid option b citric acid option c lactic acid and option option d oxalic acid correct answer is option b citric acid so students we move on to the fourth question and question is which of the following phenomenon occur when a small amount of acid is added to water? 1. Ionization 2. Neutralization 3. Dilution and 4. Salt formation I repeat the question. Which of the following phenomenon occur when a small amount of acid is added to water? 1. Ionization 2. Neutralization, 3. Dilution and 4. Salt formation. Options are A. 1 and 2 B. 1 and 3 C. 2 and 3 and D. 2 and 4 And the answer is option B. 1 and 3. Yes. When acid is added to water, it becomes it split up into ions and it also get diluted. So first ionization and third point dilution both happens when acid is added to water. So now we are into our fifth question. Which of the following indicators turn red in an acidic solution? 1. Phenophthalene 2. Litmus 3. Turmeric and 4. Methyl orange Choose the correct options. Option, options will follow. I will once again repeat my question. Which of the following indicators turn red in an acidic solution? 1. Phenophthalene 2. Litmus 3. Turmeric and 4. Methyl orange Options are A, 1 and 2, and option B, 2 and 3, option C, only 2, and option D, 2 and 4. The correct answer is option D, 
2 and 4 because in acidic solution as you all know litmus turns to red and at the same time methyl orange also gives red color on acidic solution into our sixth question dilute acid does not produce carbon dioxide on being treating with repeat it dilute acid does not produce carbon dioxide on being treating with option a marble option b lime option c baking soda and option d limestone the correct answer is option b lime because option b lime is calcium hydroxide it doesn't contain carbon to produce carbon dioxide whereas marble baking soda and limestone contains carbon in the form of carbonates or bicarbonates marble and limestone is calcium carbonate whereas baking soda is sodium bicarbonate seventh question methyl orange is repeat methyl orange is option a red in acidic medium yellow in basic medium option b yellow in acidic medium and red in basic medium option c colorless in acidic medium and pink in basic medium option d pink in acidic medium and colorless in basic medium and the correct answer is option a red in acidic medium and yellow in basic medium methyl orange is red in acidic medium and yellow in basic medium next question is the nature of calcium phosphate present in tooth enamel is I'll repeat the nature of calcium phosphate present in tooth enamel is option a basic in nature option b amphoteric option c acidic and option d neutral the correct answer is option a basic in nature because calcium phosphate is produced by acid phosphoric acid and base calcium hydroxide phosphoric acid is weak and calcium hydroxide is strong so the nature will be basic in question number nine which one of the following is acidic option a lime juice option b tomatoes option c milk and option d all the above i'll repeat the question which one of the following is acidic option a lemon juice option b tomatoes option c milk and option d all the above and the answer is option d all the above and the tenth question and the last one for this episode which one of the following will turn blue litmus into red i'll repeat the question which one of the following will turn blue litmus into red options are option a vinegar option b lime water option c baking soda solution and option d washing soda solution the correct answer is option a vinegar which contains acidic acid in acidic solution litmus blue litmus turns to red that's all for this episode for this session i will come up with few more mcqs from the same chapter very soon until then take care and don't forget to like subscribe comment and share good day